Shalom. Welcome to A Taste of Torah with Rabbi Carol. This week's Parsha is entitled Yitro, which is the Hebrew name for Moshe's father-in-law Jethro. And this year we are looking at the second Aliyah of each weekly Parsha. And that is found in Bereshit Genesis 18 this week, beginning with verse 13. So I want to read a little bit from uh, this Parsha and this Aliyah. Verse 13 says, The following day Moshe said and set to settle disputes for the people while the people stood around Moshe from morning till evening. When Moshe's father-in-law saw all that he was doing to the people, he said, what is this that you are doing to the people? Why do you sit there alone with all the people standing around you from morning to evening? Moshe answered his father-in-law, it's because the people come to me seeking God's guidance. Whenever they have a dispute, it comes to me. I judge between one person and another, and I explain to them God's law and teaching. Verse 17, Moshe's father-in-law said to him, what you are doing is not good. You will certainly wear yourself out, and not only yourself, but these people here with you as well. It's too much for you and you can't do it alone by yourself. And as we continue to read in the Aliyah and the Parsha, we know what happens is Moshe takes his father-in-law's advice and he appoints leaders to help him in taking care of ministering to the people he is responsible for. Being a rabbi and a spiritual leader is something that, that I enjoy so much. Uh, Michael and I are so privileged to lead Beth Emanuel Congregation. I love what I do. I love working for Adonai in this congregation. I love the people. And uh, Michael and I enjoy our work every week. But we know that we cannot do it alone. And I want to encourage you, whether you are part of Beth Emanuel or you belong to another spiritual community, understand that your rabbi, that your pastor, your spiritual leader, only has so much time and uh, in a day and in a week and so much ability. And that if others do not come alongside Michael and I as our leaders at Beth Emanuel or your pastor, your spiritual leader, he or she will wear themselves out. So there were men and women in the scriptures who came alongside Moshe and other leaders and helped to carry the load uh, so that they could uh, devote themselves to the things that were important as spiritual leaders. In fact, in Acts chapter uh, 6, we see the same issue happening when the uh, there was a dispute between the widows and they came to the shalichim, the apostles, and, and looked to them to handle the dispute. And what did they do at that moment? They appointed deacons, shamashim, to take care of the practical responsibilities. And why did they say? Because it was their main uh, priority to devote themselves to the word and to prayer. Now, Rabbi Michael and I, as any spiritual leader, I have no problem getting in and cleaning toilet, toilets, vacuuming the carpet, uh, doing paperwork, uh, office work. But the more I devote my time and effort to that, the less time I have to give to prayer and the word, which should be my priority as a spiritual leader. And the same for your pastor or your rabbi. So I want to encourage you this week to be a support to your rabbi, to your pastor. Come alongside them. Uh, give them a call or talk to them after service and say, you know, I want to be helpful to you. Is there any ministry that I can get involved in? Is there some way that I can help in practical ways here around the congregation and, uh, and take a little bit off their plate so that they can devote themselves to prayer and the word? God bless you. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing those here at Beth Emanuel on Shabbat at 11 o'clock for service. And remember, we just opened our Kesher Cafe from 10 to 11 every Saturday morning. Have an awesome week. Bye-bye.